All right, so let's take a look at limits, the limit as x goes to infinity or negative infinity of a rational function. So here we have the problem, uh, the limit of 4x cubed plus 5x squared plus 3 over 5x cubed plus 3x minus 2 as x goes to infinity. So with this problem here, I can, I can rewrite this as the limit as x goes to infinity of 4x cubed over 5x cubed. So what I'm doing here is I'm keeping the term with the largest exponent in the numerator and I'm keeping the term with the largest exponent in the denominator. Okay. Now, you can only do this if x is going to infinity or negative infinity. If x is approaching a number like 0, 1, 2, negative 1, then you cannot do this. Only when x is approaching infinity or negative infinity. And also keep in mind, I'm not saying that this function is equal to this function. I'm saying the limit of this function as x goes to infinity is equal to the limit of this function as x goes to infinity. And then you can see here the x cubes cancel out and so I'm left with the limit as x goes to infinity of 4 fifths. And whenever we take the limit of a constant term, well, it's just that constant term. And so there's my answer, 4 fifths. All right, let's take a look at another one. So here, same thing. The only difference here is instead of x going to infinity, x is going to negative infinity. But we can do the same thing, okay? So it's the limit as x goes to negative infinity, okay? And keep in mind, I'm going to keep the term with the largest exponent in the numerator and the term with the largest exponent in the denominator. So that's going to be 3x cubed over 2x cubed. And then the x cubes cancel out. And so I'm left with the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 3 halves. And so my limit would be 3 halves. Let's look at another one. All right, same thing. I've got the limit as x goes to infinity. So that's equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. Now, I go to the numerator. I keep the term with the largest exponent, which is this x to the fourth. So that's 5x to the fourth over. And then I go to the denominator and I keep the term with the largest exponent in the denominator, which is 4x cubed. Okay, and then canceling, I'm left with a 1, and here I'm left with x. So I've got the limit as x goes to infinity of 5x. I'm sorry. 5 fourths x. Now, x is going to infinity, so when I plug real big numbers in for x, this whole term's getting larger and larger, so as x goes to infinity, this is going to infinity as also. So my limit would be infinity. Let's look at another one. We've got the limit as x goes to negative infinity. And once again, the numerator, I keep the largest exponent, 
which is 4. So that's 7x to the 4th over, and then I take keep the largest exponent in the denominator, and that's going to be 2x cubed. And the x cubed and x fourth to the 4th cancels. I'm left with a 1 and an x. And so this is going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 7 over 2x. Okay. Now, as x goes to negative infinity, what's this whole thing doing? The 7 halves x. Well, it's going to negative infinity also. So there's my limit, negative infinity. Alright, so how about this one? So I've got the limit as x goes to infinity. Keep the largest term, the largest, the highest power in the numerator, which is 2x cubed. The largest exponent in the denominator, 3x to the fourth. Now, the x's cancel. I'm left with a 1 and an x, and so this is going to be the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over 3x. Now, here, x is getting really big, okay? So I'm plugging in large numbers here for x. So as this denominator gets larger and larger, this whole fraction here is doing what? It's getting smaller and smaller. It's going to zero. Because if we have two divided by a really big number, then the whole fraction's going to zero. So this limit here is zero. And then let's take a look at this last one here. So this is going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 5x cubed, keep the largest exponent in the numerator, the largest exponent in the denominator, okay, and the x's cancel. I'm left with 1 and an x, and so that's going to be the limit as x goes to negative infinity of 5 over 2x. Now, the denominator, I'm plugging in really small numbers, or you could say real big numbers with a negative sign in front of it. So, this whole fraction, since this, since this denominator here is getting really small, but you got to think about it, it's like, one million, one billion, one trillion, but it's negative one trillion, and five divided by that, well, the whole fraction is getting smaller. It's going to zero, and there's your limit. And I hope this video helps, and that's it.